The trading frenzy in GameStop and other so-called meme stocks has politicians calling for a new tax on security transactions and also for the imposition of other taxes. When will investors wake up to these threats? Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. The circus surrounding stocks like AMC and GameStop has stoked headline-hunting politicians into issuing ill-thought-out calls for action. Their attitude seems to be, we got to show the voters we're upset and we'll do something about it, even if we haven't a real clue as to what is actually going on or why. Unfortunately, some proffered solutions, if enacted, will do substantial harm to the economy. Stockholders had better start to factor this in when making investment decisions. Democrats who now control things in Washington are dusting off damaging tax ideas. One that seems ready-made for the current mania is imposing a tax on every stock trade. After all, most investors pay no commissions anymore on security transactions. Brokers these days make money in other ways. Transaction tax advocates claim this costless trading fuels speculative fevers that must be stopped. The tax on trading, they say, will slow down or prevent these manias. Such a tax is really good for individual investors. All such a tax will do is drive trading overseas and damage domestic financial institutions. The passion for new taxes doesn't stop here, however. Senator Elizabeth Warren is raising again her cry for a wealth tax. Such a levy has failed in every country that has tried it. The tax is hideously hard to collect as it involves valuing every year everything you own. Talk about government invasion of privacy. It also destroys capital. Most wealth isn't cash, but rather in assets like stocks and ownership of small businesses. Such a tax thereby hurts productive investment, without which we stagnate economically. We actually already have sort of a wealth tax. It's called the inheritance or death tax. Studies have shown that in the real world, this tax ends up doing more harm than good, given the resources and brain power that are involved in coping with this tax. Nonetheless, the Biden administration wants to boost this tax by applying an extra capital gains levy on anything you might inherit from a relative or friend. All new exactions would be in addition to the White House's desire to sharply boost taxes on businesses, capital gains, and incomes. The administration's incoming transportation secretary refused to rule out a big boost in the federal gasoline tax. So much for the Biden promise not to pile more taxes on the middle class. All these moves will seriously stunt the economy and ultimately hurt the value of stocks. I'm Steve Forbes. This is What's Ahead. Thank you so much for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.